先輩後輩ナミちゃん翔太くんおはようこんにちはこんばんはココジャパンの翔太です Today we are going to learn Japanese honorifics Honorifics is something you should know when you talking to Japanese If you watch Japanese anime or drama, you probably had some Japanese honorifics, but some of them are not common to use in like daily life. So I listed seven common Japanese honorifics, which are Sama, San, Chan, Kun, Senpai, Kohai, Sensei. Alright? Before starting, I'll be so happy if you subscribe to this channel. So don't forget to click the red button to subscribe this channel. どうぞよろしくお願いしますお願いね Alright, let's get started. First one is summer. To make it simple, you just remember summer is the most Respectful honorifics. It's mostly used for like customer,、um, guest, or business partners. Second one is san. San is the most useful honorifics ever. It can be used for anybody and any situations apart from、uh, your family. So it's very, very useful. It's very useful. Third one. Is Chan. Chan is mainly used for female and children. Fourth one is Kun. Kun is mainly used for a male and children, like opposite way of Chan. Fifth one is Senpai. Senpai is used for someone older than you at like a workplace and school. Or, like a team, like a sports activity, things like that. So, you probably heard from the anime or Japanese drama they say in senpai. Sixth one is kohai. Kohai is just opposite way of using senpai. It's used for someone younger than you at workplace, and school, and a club. The last one is sensei. Sensei is used for a teacher, a doctor,、um, politicians, and lawyer for someone who has specific skill, like something like that. Okay, now let's learn how you can use them, like apply to real life. So imagine there are two people called Mr. Hinata and Miss Nami, let's say, because I like. IQ and One Piece, of course, so that's why I chose two names. I will give you different、uh, cases, like a situation, so that you can think which honorifics you need to use. So, yeah, start using your brain. Alright, l are you ready? Let's get started. First case Hinata and Nami is your teammates, and they are older than you. What do you call them? The answer is Hinata Senpai. Nami Senpai. Because, as I say, they are older than you and then they are in your team. So that's why you call them with the Senpai. Hinata Senpai. Nami Senpai. Okay? Second case Hinata and Nami is your customer visiting your store right now. Okay? So, what do you call them? The answer is Hinata Sama. Nami Sama. Because they are your customer. So you need to show your respect, the highest respect to them. That's why you need to use Sama. Hinata Sama, Nami Sama. Third case Hinata and Nami are who you don't know their age or about them that much yet. For this case, what do you call them? 
The answer is Hinata san. Nami san. So, for this case, if you don't know which honorifics you need to use, then just use san. As I mentioned earlier, the san is the most useful honorifics. Just choose san. Fourth case, Hinata and Nami are around eight years old. So, for this case, what do you call them? The answer is Hinata kun, Nami chan, because they are children. So, for male, it's kun, female, it's chan. Hinata kun, Nami chan. Fifth case, Hinata and Nami recently became your friend and you don't know you can call them Hinata and Nami like without honorifics, just their name so you are not sure yet for this case, what do you call them? the answer is Hinata-kun Nami-chan so for this case, they are already your friends so if you use san for this case, they probably feel it's too formal. So just use kun and chan. Last case, Hinata is a doctor and Nami is a teacher. For this case, what do you call them? The answer is Hinata sensei. Nami Sensei How was it? How many answers did you get? Maybe all of them or maybe less? I know that choosing the right honorifics is really really confusing and difficult for you but it's even to Japanese as well so don't worry about it so this is a tip if you don't know which honorifics you need to use then you just ask them Nante yobeba ii desu ka? Which means How can I call you? Nante yobeba ii desu ka? Nante yobeba ii desu ka? So once you ask them and then they reply you like Oh you just call me Hinata You just call me Nami Then you just call them Hinata or Nami, you don't need to worry about honorifics, you just call them their name, okay? So, Sama, San, Chan, Kun, Senpai, Kohai, Sensei. These seven common Japanese honorifics is just enough. Alright, I hope it helps you understand Japanese honorifics. And thank you for watching, and then see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe this Channel. Bye bye. Arigato. Janne.